Hey guys, this is Greg again. Somebody wanted me to, uh, a follower requested me to do this coin Algorand to uh, see what's gonna be go going on with it. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Uh, you guys can see my chart up, up there with Algorand and it's, uh, it went in that channel. It looks like it had a fifth wave uh, blow off top. It didn't quite make the top of the channel. Uh, there, as you can see, um, pr people probably expecting it there. Now with this coin, um, I think a lot of the reason it didn't go up there, you can see with the volume right here. The reason it didn't go up there is people saw this. It had a double top. I bet a lot of people exited out here and it came back down and went up on that. So I imagine people that were here and here, they exited out. They probably saw this and then they exited out here. They saw a double top and boom, they went it out. And I probably would have done that too, because you got a good amount of divergence right there on that move. So, you know, that, that could have been a risky, you know, keeping, you know, at least not taking a lot of your profits here and then hoping for that, you know, would have been risky. So that's probably what happened with Algorand. Um, it's pretty basic. I do have a FIB level on here, guys. I put from uh, the, the whole wave and it's corrected, you know, um, the 618 so far and which is good and then off of log you can see it's down there in the 90 percent area so so far so good it's corrected it's it's going deep enough it looks a lot better than some of the other coins like unlike kucoin you know you want to see it correct like that i just did a video on kucoin and you know kucoin if this was kucoin uh, uh kucoin's type chart you know it would still be up here and at a dollar or 14 maybe a dollar 99 cents. I'd be telling you guys, hey guys, it hasn't corrected enough, it hasn't corrected enough, but taking a look at the RSI, you can see it cycle down here um, like that. So it came down back test and now it's coming down to finish it off. So it looks good so far. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Hold on, let me take off that retracement. And go deeper into this uh, correction. It's looking like um, it's slowing down in that correction. So one, two, three, four, five. It looks like here's a uh, one, two, three, four, five. So uh, yeah, ABC right there, it looks like guys. So you can actually label this as a, a one, two, three, four, five, and then up for a B, one, two, three, four, five. So I, that's what I would do. It looks pretty good. And here is a three-way move. You can see that in the RSI from there. So more than likely it did a ABC here. And then this is all a WXY. And it looks like it's coming in to complete its sequence. Okay. Um, now with this coin, since it's hit FIB levels and it's hit uh, the sequence, it looks like it's completed a sequence. What I would do because there's a chance, you know, with Bitcoin, it has a couple of options. So this whole thing, it's completed a sequence. And, you know, if it, it doesn't, it, it's going to continue to go uh, bearish. You know, I don't think it's going to be doing something like this to swing back down. It could. There is a possibility of that. Um, what I would do is wherever this is going to bottom out, I think it's just going to continue to go down, guys, like, like this. This is what it's gonna to continue to do. So I'll do something like this. And that fifth wave might just come down to like 30 cent, say like the uh, 30 cent area is what I would suspect something like that could do. So complete the sequence. And then what I would do is that uh, if it starts making a move out of here, you know, impulsively, see if it makes an impulsive move out of there, it won't be much. And then it might come around and you can play it off that bottom right there. The second wave, 
everything turns bearish again and Bitcoin it dumps, it might, it might just correct and stay above its low. And that's how you're going to know for sure. You're going to have to just wait it out and see what it does. But even though some people might come down and buy the dip on this, um, I'm not too familiar with this coin. And uh, I really don't like the chart setup and everything. So it's not a coin that um, I'd have to really, really be into it to be buying a dip on it. This is what I would wait for. Let it correct down and get it right here in this area. You know, this could be, you know, three, four or five months down the road where you're buying it over here instead of trying to pick it up on a dip. And then you don't know, heck, the, the, it, could, it could just keep going down. You know, you'd have to have an, another stop loss in the area. How far do you want, how far are you gonna ride that down? You know, it's got a long ways to go to break a sequence. It's got all the way down here. You know, this could come all the way down. Technically on a second wave correction, it can come all the way down here. So it could go from 34 cents down to 13 cents. You know, just don't know yet. But it does appear to me to have a completed sequence in there. And that's good. Um, but it's definitely not bullish right now. It's still correcting. And how, how much farther, you know, it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna make some uh, bullish divergence. It'll come how far down and then it'll probably have a pump, a little pump up in this area. And you're just gonna have to watch the coin to see if it goes bullish and then it might be a second wave correction. And maybe, you know, maybe the, the markets have gone bullish again and then it can go into a third wave. So your whole big wave would be like this, catch it down that area and then you can ride it up on that wave or something like that. That's what I suggest. Thanks for watching, not financial advice. Thanks for watching, peace.